it's beautiful to see the resilience of, of who we work with really every day. I have two or three, and several of us have two or three criminal cases that are going on three years. So three years of having court in limbo, of having, oh, I think we're close, bam, we're not close. When we're doing a jury trial, we are with them like 30 hours a week straight in this room. We sit, we sit with the tears, we laugh, we hear the little stories. So when that jury trial's over, you know, I just go on to the next case where this, they have to go on in life. And, and where's the manual for that? The world doesn't stop when someone's assaulted and you're traumatized and you're trying to just make it through each day, then add on top of it that you're a parent or add on top of it your child is a victim. I'll put the paperwork aside and I'm just like, how are you doing? Because who asks those people? Who asks those that are finding the permission slips, making the lunches, getting the suppers, getting someone to soccer? But oh, meanwhile, your child has been assaulted. So it's, it's just stop the madness for five seconds. How are you doing? Because no one asks them. And then you just see the deflate. Um, so it's just being aware of what life is gonna look like. I've had three now that have been not guilties and helping those victims process that afterwards. Um, being there during a trial is a very intimate, emotional journey. This one time, um, it was a long case, and she finally had her day of sentencing, and it was two different defendants. And as an advocate, we can seek permission from the courts and the district attorneys and, and defense attorneys to accompany them up to the stand. So she's like, I, I, I want you up there. I'm like, okay. So she's sitting on the stand. I'm like on the steps, and all of a sudden, She's reading and I just see, she's facing like this and I see, and she just wanted me to hold her hand. And I'm like, hell yeah, I'll hold your hand. You know what I mean? Like, I had a victim a couple weeks ago on the stand for two hours, just absolutely poised. And she walked off that stand and be, you, she gained permission to come and stay in the courtroom because you have to do that. She walked off that stand and she planted her butt right in the benches behind and just watched. That victim, it was such a you know unique circumstance, but I was like, good for you just walking back there and putting your butt in that bench. Like, I'm watching this. I wanna see what's happening. This is, this is my life. So I think sometimes you take it for granted, you know, when you're stuck in the everyday um, hubbub of it all, but, um, it is, it's a lot, of, a lot of beauty in the human spirit that we see, so. It's maybe not as um, much contact after, and some people are like, okay, thank you. As one dad said to me last week, hope I never see you again. And I'm like, I understand what you mean, you know.